Toidles, toidles, keeping tight circles. Oh, perfect timing, Aizen. I's got a letter for you. A letter? Did you get a reply to that letter you sent? What's it say? What's it say? I know everything that you've done. Repent for your horrendous deeds, you monster. What did you do, Aizen? No idea. There's no sender written on here either. Who would write something so awful? Who cares? If I gave a damn about other people's feelings, I wouldn't be a pirate. I suppose that's true. Forget about it. What's the status of the other stuff? The Palmier made it just fine. But uh, we've run into some troubles finding the Nordals. My deepest apologies. What are Nordals? Nordals used to be given out by Empyrean temples. Nowadays, there's only four left. Red, blue, green, and black. Dolls of the Empyreans? Kind of. But these are less gloomy looking and more, uh... Hmm... How can I describe it? Something like a quiet radiance? A quiet radiance? <laughs> That's perfect! I... think I get it. I'd never have pegged you as a collector of religious claptrap, Aizen. Think they'll help keep the Reaper away? Probably not. But in the off chance they actually work, they'll keep her safe. Huh. Hey, that letter Aizen sent off earlier was addressed to a woman, wasn't it? <laughs> Our little Luffy said is growing up. N no I wasn't implying she was his girlfriend. Her writing just seemed more mature, and... It's nothing like that. She's my younger sister. I didn't know you had a sister. She's the only family I have left. She and I live apart for various reasons. I'm guessing your death curse is one of them, huh? Mogilu! Hmm. So that's why. I'd be happy to help you look for those dolls, Aizen. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, then. Thanks. I guess a dragon was a bit much to take on, even for the Reaper. We all should. I'll just get the crew started on readying the ship for our next departure. All right, you go do that. Luffy said, you should get some rest too. I'm fine. It's more important that I focus on finding an actual Therian this time. I'm going to take another try at sensing the Earth Pulse points. <laughs> You're as stubborn as ever, Fee.
Hey, Kuragane, let me ask you something. More complaining, is it? Come on, don't be like that. Every time I turn around, Velvet or one of the pirates is telling me to go make some delivery to some island. I can never get a break. Isn't that just a sign they think you're a dependable guy? Maybe, but I don't see them sending you off on errands. It's like they take one look at your face and decide to leave you alone. I don't have a face. Oh, right, sorry. A slip of the tongue. Maybe you just don't know how much work I do around here. It's more than you think. What do you take me for? Some kind of cheeky freeloader? I don't even have cheeks. <laughs> You're too funny. I've spent my entire life thinking of nothing but forging swords. They can be a hassle. But at least it's a new hassle. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. So I went along with whatever they asked. But I've been too nice, so they keep pushing work onto me. I don't have a face. That's not the point. Aren't you even listening to what I'm saying here? You need to make up your mind. You and I got on this ship alongside these people, who are putting themselves in great danger in order to live the lives of their choosing. If you don't like it, then go on and get off this ship with your tail between your legs. Yeah, except I don't have a tail right now. Push yourself too hard now, Lafayette. said. You hear me? I hear you. I just... I told everyone I could find the Therians, but... I've only sent us to the wrong places. Aizen, is there any way to boost Amalok's powers? <sighs> I guess it's okay for me to tell you this. The majority of Malakim today have their consciousnesses sealed away to be used as mere tools for the exorcists. But originally, Malakim were beings who received prayers from people, and in return bestowed their blessings upon nature and mankind. So you're saying that when humans pray to a Malak, the Malak receives great strength? Yes. In general, at least. Some Malakim, like me, buck the system and bring about misfortune rather than divine grace. Oh, that's unfortunate. But who would ever pray to me? Maybe you didn't lead us to any Therians, Faye, but it's not like we came back empty-handed. We found Ori Kalkum to use against Shigure, and we also learned we can hold our own against a dragon. Velvet. So where should we go next, Fee? Northgand! There's a big Earth Pulse point north of Helavis! Works for me. Aizen? We can leave whenever you want. Doesn't matter to me. And I'm all set. When I say prayers, I don't mean outright worshipping. I see.
next target is north of Helavis, near the Faldi's ruins. In light of everything we know, I'd say it's highly likely we'll find a Therian there. Let's hope! Then we should make our first stop, Port Helavis. With the, uh, mischief we got into last time, getting into the city might prove difficult. Benwick, how are things in Helavis right now? That shipping guild that used to handle our mooring is pretty much toast. But for some reason, the Abbey isn't watching the port as much as they once were. Unfamiliar ships have been hauling in relief supplies, so if we pose as one of the transport ships, I think we can slip in. And if we divert some supplies to an unofficial channel, we might be able to secure a new mooring partner. Smuggling in relief supplies for our own disaster. Cheeky bastards, aren't we? It's what'll get us in. That much is true. Roger. I'll get right on it. The supplies are loaded. We can make for Helavis whenever you want. That was fast. If we weren't hard workers, we wouldn't be sailors. <laughs> Eleanor! <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Kamoana? She, uh, she said she had a dream about her mom. When mommy saw me, she said I looked scary. <laughs> that she didn't want a scary little girl like me. <laughs> Your mother would never say that, sweetheart. But how can you be sure? Well, uh, how do I put it? I know because I know. You're just lying to make me feel better. <laughs> Aw, come on, don't cry. I <laughs> oh, this is the part I hate about little kids. You velvet! I hate That's you! That's right. Let it all out. Stop it! Stop it! Mommy! I saw my mommy! She didn't want me! <laughs> she managed to cry herself to sleep. They're not rational creatures. Sometimes you just gotta let them cry it out. You seem used to it. I guess you could say that. Luffy usually kept himself together when he was younger. But when he was really little, he had times like this every now and then. Uh. And on that note, let's take off all we can. My liege, Dial, I leave Kamoana in your care. I'll do what I can. But kids as sweet and honest as her are harder to deal with than corrupt bureaucrats. An outlaw prince and a talking lizard are no replacement for a mother. <sighs> I do hope Kamalana isn't crying anymore. Yeah. Shush. How long is it going to be before you send in another exorcist to replace Lady Teresa? With these demons clamoring at her gates, none of us feel safe anymore. You have our deepest sympathies, but we were sent here on a different mission. That's what the last exorcist who came here said before leaving for the north. What could be up there that's worth all that attention? Surely we're not all being punished by the Abbey for what happened with Medissa, are we? That is not the case. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have business to attend to.
So the exorcists are just passing through town and heading straight north. Odd. <sighs> Ever since the Calamity showed up, everything's just gone to pot, I say. Calamity? What do you mean? I mean the demon who barged in and made a mess of our fair city. Haven't you heard of her? The Calamity's been rampaging across the whole kingdom, not just here. Scant few have seen her and survived. Huh. You don't say. After the Calamity raised our ships and our port, the shipping guild fell apart and our trade routes got poached by other ports. It's bad. The town relies on trade to make ends meet. People are abandoning the city, and our streets are no longer safe! Just the other day, a little kid turned into a demon. Just like that. What a world! What a world! What have the exorcists been doing during all of this? Well, Lady Teresa was in charge of this region, but she came up short against the Calamity, and got a fat demotion for her troubles. Several new exorcists have been reassigned here, but once they arrive, they all traipse right off to the ruins up north. This has to be Medissa's fault. If she hadn't gone and done something so stupid... Medissa... That's enough. This isn't something for outsiders to know. You're right. Sorry. <sighs> I'm really worried about what's going to come of this town. It sounds like Helovis isn't what it used to be these days. We need to ask around and find out more about what's going on here. Agreed. Especially regarding the Abbey and those ruins. The ruins part makes sense, since the Earth Pulse point might be there. Just a hunch. Something tells me she's worth looking into. You're not gonna look into this Calamity chick? She sounds like a real terror. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Hey, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sorry, I'm busy. Try someone else. <sighs> Excuse me. My name is Eleanor, and I'm an exorcist on patrol with the Abbey. I was wondering if I could solicit your honest opinion about how this town is being run. Oh, I didn't realize there was an exorcist with you. Yes, please tell the Abbey we want Lady Teresa back. Her governance was strict, it's true, but at least we could live in safety. Now, all the exorcists run off to the Faldi's ruins and leave us here in the lurch. They value some dusty, faraway ruins over the lives of the good, hardworking citizens here. We've always been cooperative with the Abbey's demands. I... I see. The Abbey appreciates your, uh, candor. Poor, poor Medisha. Are you a friend of hers? Yeah, she used to live just down the road from me. Medissa raised her daughter Diana all on her own. And then they up and murdered the girl. Murdered? By whom? The exorcists. Once Diana caught the demon blight, the damned Abbey exterminated her like a rat. How cruel. I felt just terrible, but I suppose there wasn't much else to be done with her. But Medissa, she hated the Abbey for what they'd done. So she barricaded herself inside the sanctuary. She just kept on screaming, all like, demons have feelings too. What happened after that? I wouldn't have been surprised to see her executed. But luckily, she was spared that much. An exorcist stopped the guard who was about to cut her down, said, Don't kill her. She's receptive. Receptive, huh? I think that's their way of referring to- That was certainly kind of them. Medissa really cherished her daughter, but the Abbey, they don't care so much about feelings. <sighs> If you go north from Helebes, you'll come upon the Faldi's ruins, which are Abbey property. Mainly, it's used as a checkpoint for hauling ore that's extracted out of Mount Killerhouse. But between you and me, I hear the Abbey also uses it as a prison camp. A prison camp? Are they capturing demons? 
Heavens no! The demons they kill on sight. No, these prisoners are human criminals. Not long ago, this woman killed someone and locked herself up in the sanctuary. I hear she got hauled off to the camp. Why do you think the Abbey would use the ruins for a prison camp? Who knows? Maybe they need a place to deal out their harshest punishments. The Abbey's not known to be forgiving, after all. <laughs> uh, but these are just nasty rumors I heard. I can't believe the demon blight has spread into the city now. Scary times. Well, the one who caught it was a little girl, so they were able to deal with her before anything bad happened. But the problem was that the demon girl's mother tried to hide her. That's only human nature. These are dangerous times. We dare not let our emotions control us. One person's selfishness could endanger the entire community. Oh, uh, right. Thankfully, an upstanding citizen noticed something suspicious and reported the child to the Abbey. But the mother went mad and killed him in retribution. And what makes it all the more lurid is, I heard the man she killed was a fellow she was actually thinking about marrying. The daughter had been dead set against her mother remarrying. You can taste the irony. That's... that's horrible. Eh, she had it coming. If there's anything worse than demons, it's people who can't control themselves. So, Diana was a girl turned demon who was killed by an exorcist. And her mother Medissa hated the Abbey for it. And the Abbey is using the Faldi's ruins up north as a prison camp. It's a lot like what happened to Kamawana, isn't it? It's natural for a mother to love her own child. To make that a crime. What I'm curious about is the use of the word receptive to describe Medissa. So long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn. If our interpretation of that ancient book is right, it likely means she's receptive to Inominat's power. Meaning they brought Medissa to those ruins where there's an Earth Pulse point. That would certainly put all the pieces together, yep. Plus, if this theory in the Abbey created already hates them, that's all the better for us. Yeah, I imagine she'd be willing to work with us. Although, it sounds almost too easy. Probably, but we won't find out until we try. True. And don't worry, you totally jinxed it. The Faldi's ruins are north of Helavis. The Earth Pulse Point is to the north, too. Probably in the very same place. <laughs> 